Embarcadero was becoming a bust, mm-hmm. essentially. They were, you couldn't yeah. skate there anymore. Yeah, and I think Sam talked about that on this on this show when mm-hmm. he came on. Embarcadero became a bust because of us getting into graffiti. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. It wasn't really, be- it didn't really become a bust because of the skating. Okay. It became a bust because of us getting into graffiti and all these kook, thug dudes started coming around hanging out and like dudes started fighting and getting and like somebody pulled a gun out on somebody oh, and though shit. like i said that earlier that's when people started jacking boards and right. stuff. Oh. So it was like outsider dudes. yeah so it yeah. started becoming because of us being like ibc puma resin yeah. c like tagging and shit that and in, that introduced a whole new gang of people gotcha. and they would roll up and know yeah. where you guys were you were yeah exactly sleep. exactly yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah they're like we had beef with like random dudes around the like the city I mean they had beef with us we okay right. <laughs> and they're like yeah exactly they're like we know where we can find these dudes they hang out at the same fucking place every day <laughs> oh <laughs> my god <laughs> wow skater dudes yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> damn dude like I don't know uh, not to throw Sam under the bus but he fought I don't know if he talked about this, but he really? fought one of the like gnarliest San Francisco fighters. <laughs> like his name really? was Really? Yeah. Like he was from the Fillmore with like gnarly hood, like black dude thug and fucking they had beef over some silly graffiti shit. And he came down to Embarcadero and Sam squared up with him and went, you know, a couple rounds with him. What? And uh yeah. Okay. And Sam I mean he 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 didn't win, but <laughs> 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 he definitely squared up. Yeah. Hey, he's got that heart though. Yeah. He's yeah. yeah. heart though. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my God. He squared up and laid out. He said wow. he yeah. win though. <laughs> I mean, this guy, t- this dude, 1010, we went to the same school. Like, nobody wins against 1010. <laughs> yeah. He's undefeated. Yeah, he's yeah. undefeated. He's wow. a knockout champion, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> With a name like 1010. Yeah. Yeah. Places, right? yeah. How about what? Banana Man? <laughs> Banana Man, that was some other fucking nasty shit. Yeah. I don't know if you, <laughs> know, if you know about that guy. Uh, what were we talking? I've never heard of somebody Banana bring him up that on the show. Weird. Rush? Yeah, it sounds funny. Banana Man was some pervert uh, guy, prop, obviously a pedophile, and he would ride around and he'd, he'd come down to Embarcadero and he'd like have like dildos and shit. And he'd wow. or bananas, what? and he'd be like, "I'll give you money if you watch me like do weird shit." Oh my wow. <laughs> god! So I don't know what anybody else ever did, but we the couple times that I was there, we'd be like, "Okay, give us the money," and then we would take the money and then kick him out. Yeah, I'm yeah. pretty sure there was somebody who like went through with the deal somewhere. Wow! Not that they ever touched, but they're yeah, like, yeah, "Okay." Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, I'll watch you like suck on this banana for like wow. ten minutes Weird. if you give me twenty Jeez. bucks what or the something. Fuck? Like Weird. Rocks <laughs> of light, bro. Banana. Thanks man. for bringing that up, Raj. <laughs> yeah. 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 Raj really wanted to hear the story of Banana Man. I made a lot of money with him. <laughs> Dude. Oh my god. There were a lot of characters. Uh, around I'm that's, sure that's there was real was talk, I'm bro. I'm sure there was. But um, wow. yeah. what about what so. is, Hubba? Like. I don't know. That's such a huge part of skateboard history. Yeah, and you, know, yeah, and you guys mm-hmm. just had it right there, which is insane. Like, yeah. Like, what was it like skating there back then? Because you guys it looked like you guys just chilled, and yeah. some people would just like Lavar would just start doing shit. Yeah, is, yeah. I don't know. People really didn't go there. Like, oh, I got this trick in mind, mm-hmm. or is that you guys just kind of fucked around at first? No, you go up there and hang out. I'm sure there were people that were like, I want to try this trick, but like, yeah, you know, I think Lavar was. He did like I don't know ten tricks over the stairs and on the ledge in like one day or something. Yeah, I think those probably happened kind of naturally. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, we just go hang out. People would smoke weed and like smoke other shit, and uh, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yeah. 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 And then uh, we'd hang out, and somebody would like do some cool shit. Isn't that funny? That the reason I mean, you called Hubba Hideout is because you called Crack Hubba, and that's. The global term now know, for so yes. the hubba in on the Olympics, they're like down this hubba. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't yeah. even know where the story comes from. Yeah. Yeah. All because yeah. you guys. Like, it's it's in, it's fucking phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. Truly. it's crazy. I know. It's what, pretty what, funny. On the Do you Olympics, remember like hubba. so? Dude. Was that there when EMB was there? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And people were skating it back then. Yeah. Or, 
people would go up there and like, but it was big. You that know? thing was tall as fuck. Yeah. I mean, it was like yeah, everybody had to know slide it. Like, yeah. I know slid it. And then I was like, okay, I'm a. I'm a low impact skater. Yeah. <laughs> I think I got that from York. He's like, I'm a low impact. Skater. Low impact. <laughs> but no slide. But you, had it a, low, you gotta no slide the yeah. thing. Come on. Right. And yeah. then so you no slide it and you're like, oh, I never, I don't need to do anything else on that. But I'm sure watching people go there is phenomenal. Because oh, yeah. I'm sure you would hear about somebody, oh, hey, Chris Cole or, or whoever is going to go up and skate it. And you guys mm. would kind of go there and Dude, the shit that's been done down it is fucking phenomenal, man. Mm. From, Josh Kalis doing twitch back tail to oh, yeah. Marcus McBride doing heel flip fucking mm-hmm. five zero. Like he was fifty 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 fifty. Excuse me, and that yeah. was fucking insane, Gnarly, dude. Bro. Yeah, I mean yeah. like Carl doing the fucking front nose pretzel out of that. Like, bro, that one blew my mind when I saw that. I was like, whoa. Yeah, yeah. and that's just the tip of like, dude. That's there's so much. You know what I mean? Eric's back nose blunt slide mm-hmm. like this. Yeah, if so you much, took bro. the time to write down every trick that's been done there, you'd probably list every trick in skateboarding mm-hmm. for sure. Like. Without a doubt, in the late two thousands, before they co- tore it down, people started doing really crazy tricks. Oh, right. yeah. Yeah. this is my last time. Yeah. Like, can we get there? I think when I, I mean, even when Costin back nose blunt slid it, it was like yeah. Yeah, that was unbe- what? unreal. How did he even get up on there? Tori's Nally Hill crooks, like yeah, bro. Mm-hmm. around that time frame. I think that dude Andrew Pot did like hard flip backside nose grind. I can see. Oh that. yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> In like size forty five jeans. Oh my god, or something god. like that. Yeah, there's been some that dude was, shit. Yeah, man. that whole zone. I would trip out going there, and you'd be like. There's Hubba, there's EMV, there's Mini Hubba, and then Pier 7. I was like, this is like the craziest mm-hmm. block I've ever seen in skateboarding. Mm-hmm. But what was, what, what happened? Like, Pier 7, just, they were, they, it just showed up? What, like, they, over time, you saw it getting built, but did you realize this was going to be some fucking, they're building this amazing skate spot? Yeah, it's a little foggy how it all started, but all of a sudden, out of nowhere, there's a spot with ledges with metal on them. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect manual yeah. pads. You're and like, you're like okay. In the, same, <laughs> in the same area we already hang out in. Yeah. And you're like, cool, we just have to go a block down. Like, that's cool. This yeah. will work. Yeah. yeah. Didn't so. the architect who built that, like, wanted the skateboarders to skate there? I don't know. Like, that's I why think they, the law firm wanted people to skate there. The law, mm. I thought that's why they, they put wanted. metal on them or something. That's I do. I, I have an interesting story about that law firm. Okay. So... That law firm, there used to be a lawyer in there named Tony Sarah, mm. and he was good friends with my mom. Okay. And so he was a hippie-ish kind of guy, and he, from what I know, uh, he always, maybe he was a criminal, I don't know what kind of lawyer he was, but he would really defend people. He did, he took jobs out of his, that he really believed in. Pro bono. You know? okay. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't like, I'm taking this case and trying to get this, mer- like serial killer off got right. you so he was like and he from what i remember my mom him and my mom were friends and from what i remember he would never pay taxes and he would just like go to jail every year for like a month or something <laughs> what <laughs> okay <Wow. laughs> something Damn, like that fucking, but wow. so and then interestingly enough his sons ivory and shelter sarah who both live in new york now uh, they're skaters and they're like in the scene out there. Oh, wow. They're older than me. Mm. I don't think we've ever met or talked about the fact that my mom knows knew their dad. But, oh, wow. Yeah, and I hope I'm not getting my facts right. They okay. probably correct me about his like going to jail stuff. But <laughs> right, I right. remember my mom saying like, yeah, Tony Sarah doesn't, he chooses to go to jail every year because so he doesn't pay his He tax. didn't pay his Yeah, because he was. Going we, to jail for six months. On what a loophole, you know. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, right, yeah, I've been going to jail, um, man. I'll see you guys, I'll see you guys in a week or two. On some <laughs> like, on some rebel, like fuck the government. Sure, yeah. sure. Like yeah. I'm not giving you. Yeah, I'd rather wow. just go sit in jail for like a month or two or something. Wow. Something like that. Something to that effect. So okay. when you said that the <laughs> yeah. lawyer, when the law firm liked us skating there, that whole memory just triggered. Right, right. Yeah, that triggered that. Because I, mean, I know something was like the, the architect wanted them to skate there, or the, the law firm did, or mm. I remember there being something. I wasn't up in the area, obviously, but this is what we were hearing, mm. you know. And that's why there was metal on the ledges, or they put metal there, or mm-hmm. I don't know, something like that. Yeah. But um, what a cool spot. I right. actually think Mike was one of the first dudes to start skating there. Carol. Mike York. Carol. Oh, Carol. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm. Yeah, yeah. He, he like started skating there and he filmed tricks in one of the girl videos where okay. he kick flips over the cement thing. And Oh, that was in the, was that FTC video? Maybe FTC. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He started skating there and, yeah. then, and then like shortly after he dipped to LA. 
Oh, but then kinda. you have Pier 7, but you have those other blocks that are down, like, you know, obviously on the same pier or on yeah. the same mm-hmm. stretch of boardwalk yeah. or whatever that are like the ledge and then the ledge on top of the ledge. Yeah, the bay block. The bay yes. block. Yeah. So there's that spot too. That and the just... middle, the middle edge on like, what is it? Like a, it almost looks oh. like a, like a, like a loading dock. dock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Those right. had a name too, but I forget what those, Ooh. maybe those are bay blocks. I don't know. But, but that uh, whole see, that whole spot that was that spot Reds that was down there yeah they got good the burgers. burger spot yeah, and they probably, were only like three bucks or something yeah they had good. the prices from like the 1950s <laughs> perfect like, thank you for that I'm yeah. sure they're not the same price anymore but <laughs> yeah but they had the gaps and people would skate the uh, mm-hmm. flat gaps mm-hmm. right yeah yeah that's where Carol had the cover of Thrasher for his Sodi yes. his Sodi cover oh the Captain Tail front uh, tail uh, the, oh, yeah, yeah, the front tail? tail yeah yeah wow that red graphic yeah with the FTC sticker on it yeah yeah crazy some yeah. iconic shit man san francisco yeah damn <laughs> iconic spots a lot, a lot of hubba mm-hmm. got the word hubba from you guys <laughs> <laughs> do you remember who, <laughs> do you remember who called it that for the first time that spot that uh i don't but if i had to guess i would probably say like maybe james or something yeah oh, okay that's probably, mm-hmm. right. yeah but then I, by out. saying that, I kind of feel like I'm throwing him under the. <laughs> why would oh, you? Why? Want, <laughs> just because. Like, oh. Maybe you need to edit this part. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's yeah. cool. Yeah. That is hilarious. That we'll most, get James on. <laughs> oh yeah, I think that's hilarious. <laughs> the m- majority of the world has no idea. That's. Oh yeah, yeah. that's where it comes. That's where it comes. Rock. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. In the yeah. Olympics, that's mm-hmm. hilarious. Well, yeah, like, I mean, yeah. listen to. Cr- Come up with a name in skateboarding, whether it be a trick or anything, and have it stick is like pretty fucking crazy. Yeah, yeah. you know. And to name an actual skate obstacle mm-hmm. after you know a San Francisco crackhead, essentially, <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Yeah. It's pretty and crazy. Essentially, it's just a ledge down some stairs. That's it. Mm-hmm. That's all it is. But it's a short term to like kind of just get right to the point. Hubba. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. Uh, Where is that like button right? Is it right here or right here? Just a little scroll um, coming down the bottom. It's it's Subscribe. over to yeah, it's on your it's on my left. right. It's no, on, my on left. your left. Hey, yeah. Hit right that there. button right there. Right there. Right there. Yeah, <laughs> the, the like button's kind of like in the in the right middle there. there. It's like we're kind of like Oh, it's there. like right here. Kind of. Like yeah, right there. The subscribe's like over to the left. <laughs> it's like right over there. <laughs> All right.